Now, PETA has developed a cage, though, to help people experience what it's like for a chicken in inhumane conditions. Uh, the cage has been scaled up to fit a grown person, and this is uh, just how much you know space a chicken has in proportion to its size and in proportion to its body when it's inside the cage. Now, uh, one of our uh, younger reporters on the desk has volunteered, or rather we forced him, Vedant uh, Agarwal. He's going to enter this cage for a few minutes to get a feel of what a chicken must go through inside one of these cages. Thank you so much, Vidan, for agreeing to do this. And yes, over to you. Uh, you have the cage ready there with you. Well, absolutely, Gargi. As you can see, the cage, it's, it's a rather tiny cage here. And, uh, you know, just to get a sense of what it's like for, uh, you know, these birds to be put in these confined spaces. In fact, PETA has developed this cage. It's taken this cage to, you know, various, uh, uh, various cities just to give people a sense of what it's like uh, for, uh, you know, birds to be put inside this. So I'll just, uh, you know, go inside this cage and then share my experience with you. Cage, Vishnu. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so Vedant's going to be in that cage for a while. That's horrific. <laughs> it's absolutely. absolutely. That is absolutely horrific, Vedant. I, I wouldn't have fit. Uh, yeah, I don't think fitted, you would have. Fit. I wouldn't have fitted into I would have that. had a little more space, but yes, it's uh, terrible to see. And, and just to think that this is something which is a practice that happens all the time. And that's and how. You'd be there for days, would you? You would be in a cage like that for days, months. Yeah, I mean, un un unthinkable. It's it's absolutely without the. Thank you for actually agreeing to do this. Uh, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty difficult over there. Thank you very much. Indeed. But let's now go back uh, to my young colleague uh, Vedant, who is inside that cage. We laugh, last left him inside a cage to get, you know, a feel of what it feels like for uh, you know chickens who and, and poultry that are kept minutes, in. But it's, it's horrific. So Vedant, it's been a couple of minutes. How are you doing? Tell us what it's been like. You can come out now. Uh, well, Gargi, it's, uh, you know, apart from the physical distress, you know, what was what is significant to note is also the fact that it, you know, feels like your agency is being uh, sort of taken away and you're at, yes. at, at the mercy of some external force. So I think, you know, the physical distress and the obvious claustrophobia is there. But apart from that, as I said, it's like you're, you know, you're rendered uh, sort of helpless. And that is perhaps the worst state uh, uh, to be in, to be rendered helpless and to be at the mercy of an external force. So that is also something uh, to sort of think about, you know, that you're in, uh, that's the worst state to be in. Uh, you know, and that psychology is also something uh, to actually think about. So, and as you uh, mentioned earlier as well, Gargi, that you know, while it's a choice uh, to be uh, to consume meat or to to be uh, non-vegetarian, it's 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 important to make an informed choice, and it's perhaps also important to be aware of you know where your food is uh, coming from. Sure. So, in fact, you know, I'm uh, also joined by uh, the spokesperson of uh, PETA India, Kira Nahuja, uh, to talk a little bit about uh, you know how uh, birds. I mean, this was just a taste of what it's like for birds to stay in confined spaces to so talk a little bit a little bit more about that and also you know a little bit about what is uh, you know the relation between uh, birds in cage and human health yeah hi vedan thank you for having me uh, so irrespective of whether these birds are in cage or no uh, the you know uh, health uh, effects of eating or consuming eggs on uh, humans are uh, enormous uh, so e just one egg has enough cholesterol that uh, our body needs and uh, you know this is really bad for us because consuming egg increases uh, the risk of uh, we getting cardiovascular diseases diabetes uh, colon cancer prostate cancer by multiple folds and as you know these hens are uh, especially in factory farms kept in such filthy and deplorable conditions uh, you know it uh, usually causes infections and uh, uh, to prevent that, what uh, these factory farms do is pump antibiotics in uh, the hens. And uh, these antibiotics are, of course, not good for us because it causes uh, antibiotic resistance in humans. Um, and not just that, I mean, uh, otherwise also these infections can, uh, you know, turn out to be zoonotic and uh, can be a huge public health risk. And this one, right? not not just for our health overall. Consuming egg is uh, is uh, you know ethically not right because as you can see um, you know in this picture the hens they are kept in such filthy conditions uh, and uh, when while while we cram them in such conditions it often leads to pecking or the hens attacking each other right. and 
Well, that's right. So here, just a sense of what it's like for these birds to be kept uh, in these confined spaces. So, you know, the, the great initiative by PETA India and also, you know, just uh, for our viewers to be, uh, you know, aware of where their food is coming from. Gargi.